welcome to the School of Electronic Engineering in, in Bangor. My name is Paul Spencer, I'm head of school. Um, what I'm going to do is give you a little bit of an introduction in, or, um, in terms of the, the history of the department, what it's like to, to study here. And I'm going to hand over to my colleague, uh, Dr. Yeston Pierce, who will give you a little bit more in detailed information in relation to engineering, applying for courses, and uh, some other insight into where our graduates go, if you like, so what happens when you, when you leave Bangor. First of all, the university, along with Southampton as it happens, was the first institution in the UK to offer electronic engineering. So we do low voltage and low current. We don't do high current and high voltage, so domestic products is us. The mains into your house is a bit too scary for us. We, we don't uh, uh, dabble in that area. Uh, every sort of like six or seven years, maybe a bit longer, the government does what they call a research assessment exercise. They go into every department in every university and try and assess how good the research is. The research in this school was rated joint second last time around, uh, so we can claim, it's not just me saying, but we can genuinely claim that the research that's undertaken in this department is world leading. University. I'm going to give you a talk about careers, but instead of calling it engineering careers, I'm going to entitle it what I think it really is about engineering, getting paid to have fun. So doing an engineering degree is the first step in what will hopefully be a long career in running into work every day and enjoying what you do, because engineering is a pretty tremendously fun profession. If I said fun often enough now, it will teach you to use physics and maths and chemistry and science in general to actually improve the value in things. And you can sell a product to somebody and make more profit than somebody who didn't think things through quite as well as you did. So engineers really are ingenious. But the English word for engineer, from the French ingenieur, means somebody who's ingenious. And that's what it's really about. That's what we're going to try and do in any of the degrees you do with this, whether it be music, technology, and electronics, or electronics, hardware systems, or computer systems engineering, or whatever. We'll try and train you up to think like an engineer. Hi, welcome to our class. This is the kitchen. Um, eight of us share it, so we've got a cupboard each, and then there are a couple of spare cupboards. Uh, we've got two sinks, we've got the oven, the grill and uh, two sets of hobs, so there's plenty of room to cook. Uh, the kitchen comes with the kettle and the toaster, so you don't need to bring your own. We've got a table for to eat, we uh, sometimes make dinner together, and the ironing board and the, ho the hoover, and general cleaning and stuff. Uh, to keep everything tidy. And over here we've got the fridge and the freezer, sort of communal food storage. And um, we try and recycle as much as possible, so we've got different kind of bins over there, whatever, and a food bin, just general waste. Right, this is just a standard bedroom. Um, it's £98 a week at the moment, but it could go up, so you get included, you get your chair, your lamp, the curtains come and clean as well, and you get the freeze, drawers, wardrobe. Um, this is the bathroom. All en suite on the fresh site. I hope you come this way, I'll show you the large room. Here is the large room, as you can see it's just larger in length ways. Everything else is the same in the normal standard rooms. The bathrooms are the same size, they still have a shower and a sink and a toilet. Still come with a chair. The cupboards are the same size. The desks are the same size and the drawers, there are still three drawers and the shelves are the same. The bed is the same size and as you can see it's just a large room so you can bring all your friends around. If you're doing music technology or electronic engineering or computer systems engineering or any of the other degrees you do here, you'll spend sort of like six hours a week or a bit more in here doing the real stuff, doing the, the hardware design measurements that sort of thing. So what we have here is a big mechanical wave. You can literally run along with the yardstick, measuring the wavelength, doing that sort of thing, and checking out 
that C equals F lamp and all that sort of stuff. So you get to play with a, with a mechanical wave here for a bit. And then, once you've sort of got a bit of an intuition about how these things work, switch that off, you get to play with real electromagnetic waves.